Hey guys, so today I want to show you how you can use a solar generator and a transfer switch to back up your house when the power goes out. Opus has just released what might be their best power station to date. It's the Opus Guardian 6000, and here are some of the main features. It has 6000 watts of continuous output so you can run a lot of stuff in your house at the same time. It has 4,600 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. You can cycle those 4,000 times, which is every day for about 10 years, and it'll still have 80% of its life. It'll take up to 2,100 watts of solar input. It'll take 1,800 watts off of a 120 volt AC outlet or it'll take 3,600 watts off of a 240 volt AC outlet. Now this is their first unit that outputs 120 or 240 volt split phase, dual voltage unit. It comes with just about every standard plug you'd ever need already on the system. It has a six year warranty, and best of all, if you get it before Christmas, it's on sale for $1,700, and if you get it before the end of the year, you could qualify for the 30% tax credit and get it for $1,200. So I really like to thank Opus for sending me one of these units for testing. Now let's look at how we're gonna connect it to the house. Okay, so you've got your power station, but do you really wanna be running through the house pulling extension cords in the dark? I don't think so. So that's why I'm gonna use the Reliance ProTran 2 transfer switch. It's a kit, it comes with everything you see here. It was $300 on Amazon, that's the regular price I paid. I didn't get it on sale. Uh, the main piece is the 30 amp six circuit switch here. They also make a 50 amp 10 circuit version of this, but I've got the six version. It gives me six circuits in my house that I can back up. And they all have the breakers, everything's included. That's the main piece. We also have a plug, that's how the power comes in, 30 amp plug, and we've got a 30 amp 10 foot cord. All this stuff is included. We're going to use this to bring all that Opus power, 6,000 watts, into our main circuits of our house directly through the main panel. Got everything we need? Let's get started. Alright, so here's our main panel, and I went ahead and marked all the circuits we're interested in with blue tape. Got a refrigerator, microwave, plugs and lights. Now, I could have done some 240 circuits like the pool pump or the dryer, but in an emergency, I'm not that concerned with those two things. So I'd rather have these other circuits. Now, if you're on a well, you're gonna wanna put that on one of the 240 circuits because you definitely need water. Now, I do plan to use the car charger. If we got enough solar panels, we could charge the car in an emergency when all the gas stations are empty. But I don't have to burn up one of my circuits for that because this Opus has so many plug options. I got a 1450 right here. That's the same plug on the Tesla charger. So I just take it out of here, drop it right down onto the Opus directly. Same thing for this guy. This is our internet, right? It's plugged in right here. I'm not gonna burn up a circuit for that. I can just drop it right down, plug it in. So I'm getting more than just the six circuits here. I'm getting a lot more. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pull this cover off and we'll start getting busy here. Okay, so we're going to surface mount that transfer switch just like this panel is mounted because we're on cinder block here. I'm going to mount it with a quarter inch Tapcon. This has got threads all the way up to the end because we're not going through anything. And then I'm going to drill it out with a hammer drill. Uh, if you're uh, mounting to stick like 2x4 or 2x6, and you're gonna cut through the sheetrock and put everything inside the wall, including the wires and everything. Uh, I did a video on that a while back, I'll link it below. So now I've gotta feed all this wire through this little piece of conduit so that I can run over to the panel. Nice and easy through here so we don't cut anything. And, uh, there we go. All right, let's take a closer look. Got the transfer switch mounted. We used our tap cons into the concrete. 
all the switches. Now check out all the fittings here. That's, uh, see here, this, this is a sharp edge. It's really sharp. And if you don't use fittings in here, it'll uh, chafe on the wires and you'll get a short possibly down the line. See the fittings coming out. We got our conduit. There's a plastic insert at the end because the end of the pipe is always sharp. Some burrs on there. Here it comes through. It's all nice and tight. Uh, we'll get to hooking up the wires, but first let's hook up our plug. So somewhere right about in here. Going to mark these holes and get them drilled out. Now we've got the X and the Y are the two hots, the red and black. X and Y are the two legs. And then the common goes on the W, right? So now I'm going to, you know, close this up, crunch those wires up a little bit. And then we'll put this in conduit, run it on up into the transfer switch, and then we can hook it up inside here. Got red to red. Wire nut it. All right, making progress. We've got everything wired up. White to white, that's the common. The two hots, the red to red, the black to black, and then the ground onto this green ground strap. Everything's in conduit, 30 amp, 10 gauge wire, down to our inlet box. It's all mounted to the wall. So this part, we can go ahead and put our cover back on and button that part up, and then we'll move on to the wiring. All right, now for the fun part. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of the breakers off, and then I'm gonna cut the main. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is hook up the ground and the common. Common will go over here on the common bar, ground's gonna go over here on the ground bar. All right guys, we're ready to hook up our first circuit. Now we've got an A, B, C, D, E, F, six switches, each switch has two wires associated with it, a red wire and a black wire. So for the A, we've got a red A and a black A, and they're all labeled, okay? So we're gonna start off, we're gonna hook up our, this is our refrigerator. I'm gonna pull that wire off there that goes to the refrigerator, and I'm gonna put in the red wire from the transfer switch. That'll send power from my breaker over to the utility side of the A switch. Then we're gonna to switch to utility or solar, doesn't matter, and we're going to, well, the power will come out on this black wire. And then we're gonna take the wire that we pulled off of here, the refrigerator wire, and we're gonna connect those up. So we've got our A circuit done. The red wire is coming into the breaker that gives power to the switch. And the black wire comes back over and goes into the original circuit for the refrigerator. That one's done, let's do the rest of them. So I've got all the circuits wired up, all six of them. All the breakers are off and all the power's off. I'm just using a flashlight right now. So everything's hooked up, but I got everything off. I went ahead and plugged in the 30 amp cable into the inlet plug. That's the 1430 plug over here on the Opus. So what we're gonna do now is if this was a power outage, we come out here and turn on the power to the 6,000 Then you come over here and hit the power button and Give it a second for the inverter to come on and I've got a light hooked up to it too with that extension cord right there That pops on there you go See we're burning just 15 watts And we're gonna go ahead and try our first circuit. So this would be the bedroom on the end of the house well, it's pulling 80 watts, so it must be doing something. Let's go have a look. Yep, there you go. First bedroom on. All right, let's uh, turn on some more lights. That's everything. I'm going to leave the refrigerator off because I don't want to cycle it. But oh, now we're pulling 350 watts and everything in the house should be cranking. Right, so we've now. got lots of circuits hooked up. We got lights where we need them, plugs and things, bathrooms, master bedroom, master bath, the microwave, the refrigerator, 
sort of the bare necessities. All right, guys, so I know we covered a lot here, but the main takeaway I hope you'll get is that with the Opus Guardian 6000 combined with that transfer switch, you can bring all that power directly into your house and power all of your critical loads. Now, you can talk about adding solar panels and extra batteries and things like that, but this gives you a good base to work from, and they've got it on sale until Christmas for $1,700. And if you combine that with a 30% tax credit, you're down to about $1,200 on the uh, Guardian 6000. Add $300 for that transfer switch, and you're at $1,500. Gives you a good, solid base to work from. So it's a long video. If you stuck with me this long, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.